we want to create a resilient forest garden basically which is a, has an integrated market garden which is more uh, efficient in a way and then the forest garden has more a long-term goal of yes. uh, yeah creating fertility over a longer time storing water creating shade and we actually farming about one third of of what we could farm here so mm -hmm. we we would like to regenerate that that part of the land I studied uh, cinematography in Holland and um, that was uh, before 2006 already uh, and then in 2006 I decided to, to come to Portugal. I realized uh, that I wanted to do something more with ecology so I wanted to use those skills that I had developed uh, for making uh, documentaries and um, something that was more into uh, yeah, ecology. <laughs> and I, I studied nutrition so I was um, already into food <laughs> and into healthy food and but I definitely felt that I didn't know enough about where food came from and uh, how it was produced and how that had influence on our health as well. I think in 2011 we really yeah. seriously got to doing that mm -hmm. making a documentary about uh, Ernst Goch who um, yeah inspired us immensely. We spent 15 days with Ernst Goch, which was amazing and changed our life. So we, we, after a few days we put our camera on the tripod and we decided to really go hands-on. I think what we have learned, besides the fact that this is a Mediterranean climate and has very hot summers, yes. uh, so we will need always a lot of water. Yeah, uh, I mean there's like four or five months without rain sometimes. Yes, yeah. we, we want to create a resilient forest garden basically which is a, has an integrated market garden, which is more uh, efficient in a way. And then the forest garden has more a long-term goal of yes. uh, yeah, creating fertility over a longer time, storing water, creating shade. And we actually farming about one third of, of what we could farm here. So mm -hmm. we, we would like to regenerate that, that part of the land. It, it needs obviously quite an investment for the labor and for the compost and seeds and plants and trees and and, and tools that we need and you know, water, you know, irrigation, all, all those things to set up that, that part of the yes. land. Yes. I think our farming is really based on these permaculture principles where diversity is key. So I think the goals for the future for Lugar da Terra and our little family is to make a, a very nice diversified homestead with a lot of different angles where people can learn, where people can uh, yeah, come and experience um, how food is being produced in a sustainable way, how the soil can be treated differently and how, how we can create soils that are more rich in carbon and more rich in organic matter over time. This is, uh, this is essential to, to new farming and to regenerate land. Yeah, definitely.